Hello and welcome back to Kitten Up Kitten. My name is Sam and today I am doing a whip on my I Miss You by Amanda Manzano. As you can see, I haven't done much on it since last time. Um, I have been concentrating on trying to get as much of Soulmates done as I can because um, the squares do take a bit longer. So... I will run through what I'm using first of all. I am using my white Admiral Zest tray as always. I am using one of my um, original trash drill cook pots, um, 42 case um, bottle storage case. And I am using my pen, which as you know, I fully reloaded the last time I did a whip on this, which is the last time I worked on it. Not good, is it? So I wanted to get a video done today um, on this one because I am going to be going away. You will probably, probably, if I can get the words out, be watching this while I'm on holiday. Um, I am taking soulmates with me on holiday and I am going to take the Alice picture from FG Normal as well so that where, if I finish Soulmates, then I can start on that. So on my last whip, um, I did put up the voting for the square canvas. Um, I'm not going to do the round one yet because I'm not going to take this with me. It is now Friday. I have had a mass day of filming today, plus waiting for the summer house to arrive. Plus, I've got a client in a little bit later and I've had to go food shopping. So I'm not going to get the chance. I've got two lots of nails in tomorrow. I'm not going to get the chance to work on this one again. So there's no point me doing a vote at this point. What I do want to do is to go through some of the comments that I've had recently. Now, you will have noticed that I am responding to comments and questions at the minute as quickly as I can because I'm not getting to them fast enough and um, with the best will in the world if I'm doing 12 hour shifts especially I just don't have the time to um, to do a whip and catch up with the comments so I have answered a lot of them I am going to read some of them out please don't be offended if I don't read yours out um, I have answered, liked and loved as many as I can. And the truth of the matter is, I never expected to be at a point where I had as many questions in that as I do. I really didn't. I thought, you know, if I get four or five questions or comments on every video, that'll, that'll do me. You know, that's 10 or 15 when I do a whip. I never expected to have this money, many, and I'm not ungrateful at all. I am so, so pleased that it's going as well as it is. Um, I just didn't expect it. So let me do the intros first, just in case you are brand new. If you are, um, my name is Sam. Thank you for watching today. I do hope that you'll like. Um, if you are coming back, good afternoon. It is another warm one in the UK. Um, I'm feeling a little bit frazzled after going and doing the food shopping. Uh, so I've literally just put the shopping away. I thought I will come on and do this whip and get caught up with some of these questions, etc. Before I go away. So tomorrow there will be no diamond painting for me tomorrow. I've got far too much to do. Um, tonight I need to do my client and then I've got to do my own fingers and toes before I go away because nobody needs to be seeing my toenails right now they are disgusting which is even worse for a nail tech I've got a nail missing as you know but it is healed now so I can sort that out later not going to have a chance to do a brand new design I am going to have to infill these but that's fine I like this colour so I'll give them a nice freshen up and put that one back on so, diamond painting wise, what has been going on? Well, it varies in which order I put the videos up, but um, there will be um, 
some whip and chats there will be some uh, cross stitch conversion videos there will be some um, spare storage videos I was hoping to have unboxings because I'm waiting for diamond paintings to arrive as I am with storage but that didn't happen no kitten up videos I'm afraid I am kitted out you'd be very proud of me actually because I do have probably three or four um, sets of storage that I could be kitting up and I haven't I've been very restrained this week because I don't want to overload you with just kitten up videos so um, I've been very, very good. You'd be proud. Um, so there is that. So there is content going to be going up over the next um, two weeks. Um, there, it won't be every day. I haven't got enough content to do every day. But some of the videos are quite long. So I'm hoping because, you know, most people only watch sort of 30 minutes, if that, 20 to 30 minutes. I'm hoping that you guys are going to watch them in bits. You know, don't feel you have to sit and watch the whole thing. <sighs> oh, coughing because I'm blowing out. I had a bit of trash in the bottom of my tray, so I wanted to get rid of that. Um, <coughs> it's not good. I really do need to give up smoking at some point. Please don't lecture me on my smoking. Um, you know, it is what it is. It's a bad habit, but it's my bad habit. But I do need to try and cut down, if nothing else, because I'm getting quite chesty now. Um, OK, so other things I wanted to say. Um, while I am away, cannot find the colour that I'm looking for. Why cannot I not find this arrow? It's an orange arrow. How hard can it be? There we go, because it's got a green ring around it. That's all it is. It's not even orange, it's brown. Anyway, um, while I am away, like I said, I'm taking Soulmates and I'm taking the Alice picture. So while I am away, I will do a couple of catch-up videos, but they are going to be filmed on my phone by hand, so it won't be so much whips. You know, I'm not going to be whipping. <laughs> I'm, I will just be having a general natter just to just to add something in um while i am off um but very much needed work has been pretty horrendous recently i'm hoping it is going to settle down now that a new rotor has been put into place but i can tell you quite strongly that i am not sorry to not be at work right now i am enjoying being off work um so a lot going on update to my storage um update to what heaven and earth project i'm doing lots going on so i've been filming frantically to try and put videos together um i did a little mini project which i thought would take me a couple of hours ended up being spread over a couple of days well actually I started it on, on Tuesday and I finally got around to finishing it off today. So um, not the quick little project I thought it was going to be. But that's just mainly due to me working and having other things. Um, I did have um, a visit from Penny on Tuesday. Um, I also went and met a friend yesterday after work. And we went and sat and had coffee and cake huge pieces of cake i couldn't eat all mine there was far too much but it was really nice to catch up with her because generally i see her at work and it's sort of we're passing in the night you know we see each other when she's coming in or leaving or when i'm coming in or leaving and that's it so um it was nice to get out and have a nice coffee and just catch up on all the gossip and you know find out what's going on and having the chance to talk properly I had that moment then when I thought I'd um, put the wrong colour down then. Um, on this canvas, um, as you can see, I think I'm halfway now. But like I said, a round will not take too long. So my plan is to take Soulmates because I will be able to get that finished while I'm away, I think. Or I know. I know I will. Um, and then I can start on Alice. Because I do want to be doing that one as well. Um, because I want it for a present. 
but um like i said we will have the while i'm away i'll work on that we will then have the um vote while i'm off and then hopefully by the time i come back we can have a brand new a brand new start with a new whip um all of them are a bit smaller. well one of them's on a bigger side i had to get at least one mandy manzano in come on um in other news i now have um, depending in which order you've seen the videos, you may already know this, but I've now got a digital stash <laughs> as well as a as a physical one. That did not mean to happen. And I'll tell you why it happened. Because I rush into things. I do. I know it's a big fault of mine. And I get so eager to do something, I don't double check stuff before I do it. And I cocked up, basically. And then I double cocked up. So um, there will be a video going up um, about a new Heaven and Earth project. The details will be on there. I'm not going to go all over it again. So I hope that you're all OK. I hope that your whips are going well. Um, I am a little bit behind on watching everybody else's videos at the minute. Um, but I'm getting there. I'm just trying to cram in. This happens every time we go away. Um, I end up running around like a lunatic right before we go on holiday. So literally, I've got two sets of nails and two sets of toes to do tomorrow. So you're talking sort of two, two, two and a half hours for each of those two clients. Because of my health problems, I need to make sure that I have a break in between as well because I stiffen up and especially doing toes because I find it easier to sit on the floor to do that. Um, on top of that, I would need to do my own. I've got a set of eyebrows and lashes to do today, tonight. Um, I still haven't packed anything. The caravan, however, has been cleaned, which is good because my husband did that yesterday while I was out socialising. And I have no one else to blame but myself for bad planning because I do it all the time. Um, so in other life news, um, I am restarting as a, a nail tech from September. So I have put away the small Filofax and I have brought out the bigger one. Yes, I have a Filofax. Love my Filofax. Are you surprised? No, of course you're not. Um, because it's got an appointment diary in it. The A5 one has got an appointment diary. So not only have I updated um, my old A5 Filofax, um, I have also um, put in the new rotor and um, set the appointment times. So... Um, now the summer house has arrived, we will obviously be working on that. So it gives me until, from now until spring, to build the business back up again. So yeah, busy, busy, busy. Um, I have also um, posted out the um, orders I had on Etsy. I did, I did the Etsy drop. So the ones that I put up the other day, literally half of that has gone already literally flew out so um i need to do another resin pour but there's no point me doing that before i go away so i'm going to wait until i get back um i will leave um the etsy shop running um however i will put a note on to say that um things will not be posted out until i get back and the reason for me fetching the filofax back out is because although i don't have a routine when it comes to the diamond painting youtube side of things I do need to have a routine for both the nails, my work and the resin. And I want to get in the habit of going to the post office on a certain day. Now, it works out that I never actually work a Tuesday on the new rotor. So Tuesday is going to be my new posting out day. Um, so I'm getting my Filofax prepped ahead of time. So that I make sure that I'm not doing too many beauty treatments on a Tuesday, that sort of thing. Because I really want to get this stuff out quicker. Um, just because of my work, um, 
I may get orders in and I might get them packed up, but then I'm working 12 hour shifts and I haven't had a chance to go to the post office. And with my husband working, I can't send him either. So, um, yeah, I need to get some sort of routine in place for that. So I think that's about it from me. Um, very warm again. And I hate doing eyebrows when it's warm because it, I'm using hot wax. So not only do I have the light, you know, the lights that I'm using, um, but I also have a hot wax pot. Never a good thing in this heat. But anyway, so that is what is going on with me. So I'm going to go and get my tablet and I will come back and we'll run through some of these comments and questions. So if I have answered you and then you hear your your comment on here, um, it's purely because I didn't want to leave you hanging around too long. I'm trying to get back better because although I don't get a lot of time to do lots of whips to answer, I do get time in tea breaks and stuff to answer comments and questions as they come in. So um, I'm going to do a mix of the both. I hope I hope you all don't mind. Oh my! So me, me double sided tape. Let me just get this colour finished, and I'll go get the tablet. Um, I did see a comment on the way back from shopping. I was sitting in traffic, and a comment come up, and it was someone who said they they prefer the unscripted videos. It, it keeps it more real. I can promise you every single video I do is unscripted because I'm rubbish at that. I did when I first started. I used to write a little list, <laughs> little points bulletin. Look, I've missed a V. Um, I don't do that anymore. Literally, it's just whatever comes out. Why is this not picking up? Right, try it again. That's better. Might be because it's hot as well. So let me put this away. I will go and get my tablet and I will do some of these questions and comments, which I love doing. I love I love everybody commenting. I do like the fact that, you know, we are interacting. So just bear with me. OK, so let me get my next colour in and we'll go through some of these comments because um I'm, I don't even know where I where I left off, so I apologise if I've missed yours. I have tried to like, love or comment on all of them, um, but just in case, I'm sorry. I will do better. I will do better. Okay, so uh, first comment is from the lovely Sharon Wildbore. I know this is from a little while ago, Sharon, so I apologise. Your order is on the way. I ended up putting both lots in one box because um, there was no point sending out to. So um, she says, sorry you're having a hard time at the moment. All of us subscribers are here for you. And like I said previously, you feel like part of my family. And don't apologise for anything. I hope you feel good soon. Well, I'm feeling much, much better. I think sometimes with me, um, I'm either really up there or I'm really down there. I... I I don't usually, I'm not ever in between. I don't know why. I think it's just the way that I am. Um, and do you know what? I got really, really, really low, had an awful, you know, few days. And now I'm picking myself back up again. I'm, I'm making myself go out again. I haven't gone out for coffee with friends for about a year, easily a year. So um, in the last week, I've done it twice. I think my husband thinks I'm having an affair. I'm not, <laughs> but I am trying to push myself a little bit because I think you do need to do that sometimes. So I'm just going to get these ones. Next comment, but thank you, Sharon. And that's what, all I ever wanted. You know that from when I first started. I just wanted to be someone that you that you sat and diamond painted with. I just wanted to be a friend. So to be, for you to think of me as part of your family. I mean, why you'd want someone as crazy as me in your family, I don't know. But um, I appreciate it and ditto. Um, you guys keep me going. You really do. Because um, I feel like I let you down if I don't post or video. So um, don't underestimate the power that you guys have for me. But thank you. It is very much appreciated and ditto. You know, if you need anything, give me a shout. Um, next one is from Just Add Colour. And it simply says, cute name, I subbed. Oh, thank you. 
um, I love the fact that your picture is Dalmatians and then you're called Just Add Colour. Love that. <laughs> but um, thank you very much and thank you for subbing. Um, it's always nice to have new subs on. Um, Kathy, Kate Shelty. Um, this was on the kitting up of um, that star, sea, sky, sun, moon, whatever it's called. Um, <laughs> she says, I normally will kit up two kits in one of the bottle cases. Makes it easier to do two kits at the same time. Just rotate them each day. I did reply on this comment. I used to do exactly the same thing when I first started because I had a lot of 24 bottle cases, uh, 24 colour canvases, sorry. But for some reason, budget companies seem to do 24 colours. Have you noticed that? It's sort of around that area. Um, so my first 60 bottle case, I kitted up two at once. My mum did the same thing. Um, but then as all of this grew and um, I started doing more, I then started buying cases to fit certain amounts of colours. Um, but it's a very good idea and it works very well. And especially if you're going away like I am, and you're not daft enough to take a full-size diamond painting with you, like I am. Um, it's very handy because you can take two kits away in one case. So it's a fab tip. Thank you for sharing with the with us. Um, back then, though, I only used to work on one kit at a time. Oh, how things have changed. Okay, let me find this line because it looks like I've only got one of these. So let me just get that. Yep, only got one. One solitary drill. So let me just get that beautiful purple. Get that in there. I'm going to do these little plus signs next. Um, so thank you for commenting, Kathy. Um, it's a very good tip for anyone that um, hasn't tried doing that. Uh, D Griffiths. Um, this was on the video where I was showing um different things different mediums you can use in your pens so she just says brilliant thanks i use blue tack but as you say it does stick to your canvas we'll try double-sided not a problem that was the whole reason i did it i do like i prefer blue tack to the pink wax without a shadow of a doubt but um yeah since i've been using double-sided tape i've not really not really used anything else I mean if I ran out of double-sided tape I'd use glue dots you know that's what I'd go back to I had to hunt for the blue tack because I used to keep it in my um, diamond painting stuff and I don't anymore because I don't use it but um, I'm glad that it helped and I'm glad that it showed you some different things that you can try and not everybody can get on with glue dots you know I find them a bit fiddlier than double-sided tape so I'm glad that it was helpful uh Leandri Moster she said I was so excited to see this video thanks for sharing I'm going to try the double-sided tape tonight oh fabulous you'll have to let me know how you got on Leandri um it's not for everyone there are going to be people that don't like it you know I'm not saying it's the only way to go I just wanted to do a video on the options because what works for one person won't work for another that is just the nature of diamond painting and it's fine you know we can all work the way we want I know lots of people that just use the wax and they're my mum included she just uses the wax and she's quite happy so um you know but it's always worth a try and it's always worth sharing tips because you never know this is a beautiful colour green I wonder if I've got this in my um heaven and earth because that dress in my heaven and earth, if you haven't seen the, the thing yet, I apologise. Spoiler alert. Um, but thank you for commenting, Leandri. That's what I that's what I hope to achieve, is to bring content that's of use for people and that they want to see. Crochet Cow Lloyd. I will now try double-sided. Up until now, I haven't had the courage. Oh, you'll love it. You'll love it, Julie. It's fine. Um, you know, if you've been using glue dots especially... You know, it's just as good as glue dots. It lasts just as long. Um, I just think it's easier to use. Um, I guess maybe because of my hands, because of my fingers. You know, glue dots are quite fiddly. So if you have sort of restricted... Oh, I need to... Sorry, I'm having to prime a pen because obviously I loaded it the other week. 
and I think because it's hot it's just gone very very sticky so it's not released from a drill um, I'm not 100% sure that this um, desk mat this desk pad is a good idea because it's quite squishy so I'm not sure if it's actually aiding in my diamond painting experience but um but it's lord of the rings and it looks so nice but um you see now i'm doubting myself that your name's julie i'm sure your name's julie <laughs> if it's not i apologize can i just say if i ever get anyone's name wrong or forget your name or anything like that it isn't intentional i do have <laughs> i do have fibro i do have fibro fog i've been up since like six o'clock this morning because nowadays i can't seem to bloody sleep in i used to all the time like literally not get out of bed until half 11 but now half past five i'm awake maybe it's because i'm getting old maybe that's it that's how the old that's how twirly syndrome starts you know what a twirly is don't you they're, they're old people who stand at the bus stop at like seven in the morning because they're too early for the shops <laughs> too early get it okay moving on um okay um um uh, penny at cow sparkles another great video as always watching you show how to use the double-sided tape has been a lifesaver for me oh you're welcome penny um yeah sometimes you, ju you just need to try something new that's all and like i said it wasn't something i came up with on my own it was somebody who suggested it to me because I was struggling with glue dots in my multi-placer and I didn't want to use two different things so um yeah it, it's just something that I've learned that I've passed on so I'm glad that it's helped you uh Maria Kassar thanks to you Sam had started using double-sided tape to load my pens since following your channel and truly it's life-changing had tried glue dots before but didn't like them Regarding special shaped diamonds, I use wax pencils like the ones used by nail technicians. It works perfect for them. Another tip for the pointy tweezers, after losing the cover, I cut a three centimetre piece of the pink pen and use that as a cover. Thanks for these videos. I really enjoy watching them. Well, thank you, Maria. Um, and thank you for your tips. That's a great tip about using the pen as a, as a cover. Very good tip. I do have one of the wax pens somewhere because I used to use it for nail art um, for my Schwarzky gems. Um, I just don't know where it is. <laughs> it was put in boxes. I had a lot of stuff in boxes when we moved and a lot of it I haven't unpacked. And I'm not being funny, it's been two years. So if I haven't used it in two years, I'm probably not gonna use it, but I'm sure I will find it somewhere. Um, at the minute, I haven't done any more on that on that picture for some reason the um i mean they it looks really nice and everything but the the gems give me a headache i don't know whether it's because i've got like quite strong lighting and it's glinting off off them but it, it gives me a headache so i haven't done any more on it but i will finish it because i don't like to leave things unfinished so i might have a look um I used a normal wax crayon when I was an Altec. That used to work really well. Always had wax crayons around because I had a child at home. Oh, got a trash drill down here. Yeah, you see, getting these single ones in when you're using a multi-placer, I think because I've got that squishy, that squishy mat, it kind of pushes it away and it doesn't stick it. Um... But they're really good, really good tips, Maria. So thank you for commenting. Uh, Kimberly Saunders, I'm glad you did this. I had to try everything. You showed to see what works best with me. I'm a heavy placer and the pink wax just doesn't do it for me. Filling pens every 10 minutes. Thanks for sharing. I know, right? I literally constantly filling my bloody pen up and then constantly getting tweezers to get the pink wax off my, off my um, canvas that's why i don't like it and you'd you always get that bit of pink wax that just sticks around the edge of a, a edge of a drill and no matter what you do you cannot get it off yeah hate it so yeah i don't use pink wax i tend to keep hold of it 
and just give it to me mother but I think she's got like 10 tons of the stuff um I wish there was another use for it really um I have got incidentally though I have kept some wax because I have used a diamond painting pen with wax to pick up the gems when I'm doing nails because it actually works quite well for those oh over priming on this bloody tape today you see we're talking about how good tape is and it's playing me up um but I'm, I'm speeding through this so it's not going to be a very long or it's not going to be as long a whip as some of the others have been in the last day or so because some of them are really long I do apologize um okay thank you for commenting Kimberly as always Vilica thanks for the info I've been using glue dots for quite some time the micro ones and I love them Sometimes, however, I have a canvas that is not sticky enough for glue dots, not DAC, and then I use the DAC wax. Never could work with blue tack. Here it's called Buddy, not my thing. Thanks for the tip about the double-sided tape. I have that in my stash for when I have to replay, repair glue sections on a painting. Well, lots of love from the Netherlands. Enjoy your holiday, Villica. Not a problem, Villica. I did comment on there to say you're welcome. Um, I will. Um, as you're watching this, I will be in a caravan in Dorset, enjoying the peace and quiet and probably, if the weather's quite nice, outside diamond painting. Um, after we've been round the local shops and done the charity shops, of course. Um, the other thing is there is Monkey World down there and I do love me some chimpanzees. Um, I actually um, do sponsor a chimpanzee at Monkey World um because i love chimpanzees absolutely love them it's my favorite animal and um you know my little contribution although not much um means that i can i can get in discounted to go and see and it's on the opposite side of the road to the tank museum which is where ashley and cat will be going I will not be. We've got the dog with us anyway. So what we'll do is um, they will go to the tank museum for a day and I'll stay at the caravan with the dog, which means I will, of course. I've got to prime this pen. It is driving me mad. Um, so, yeah, of course, I will be at the, the caravan with the dog diamond painting um, while they go there. And then me and Kat will probably go to the to Monkey World while Ashley has the dog. I mean, the last time we went, we actually did get, um, we did put her with a dog sitter for the day, um, which was brilliant. She really enjoyed it. And, you know, the dog sitter said she was really well behaved and everything. But especially when it's hot, we don't want to leave her somewhere. So um, we'll just take it in turns. It's fine. All of us like to have a day off. You know, we all like to have a chill day at the caravan. So it might be a bad thing. We're staying in a completely different place this time as well. So it's a little bit more of a travel. Last time we stayed literally within like four miles of where we were going. This time we're staying a bit further out. So we'll have the opportunity to go to some newer, newer places to visit. Um, one year I'm determined that we're going to go and stay and go to Longleat. We can go to Longleat from where we are, but it is a trek. And obviously we can't take the dog, but one year we'll do it. We will. Um, so I will have a lovely holiday and I'm glad that the video helped. Um, uh, another comment from Sharon. Just great video, Sam. Love your nails. Thank you, as always. Um, Nisa Reed. Thanks, Sam. I've been waiting ages to find out about the double sided tape. I also use micro glue dots, but only my singles. And sometimes I'll revert back to DAC. Never tried blue tack, but been wanting to try the tape since watching your channel. Think think I'll go and see how I get on. Well, that's all you can do, Nisa, isn't it? Just give it a go and see what happens. And if it's not for you, you've not lost anything, have you? Really? I mean, as long as you're not going out and buying any. Here's a little tip for you, actually. If you've got a diamond painting which has got an overlap of glue, especially double-sided, you can cut that with a Stanley knife and pull that up and use that I mean it won't work with with poured glue but um and actually I did hear someone say that all they do 
is they get their pen. I'm going to check now to see if my camera's film. Yeah, it is. Oh, I had that moment then. I haven't checked it to see if it was still filming. And obviously it overheats when it's hot and the lights are going. Um, yeah, I did see someone who said that they get their pen and they just dab it on there. And then they just do that. And it makes the pen sticky again. I thought that was genius. I'm not sure it will work with... Um... Oh, it's made mine too sticky now. Um, not sure it will work with a multiplacer, but, you know... I thought that was a fab idea. I don't know if it's true. Maybe I'll have to try it one day. Um, so because my, my pen is not wanting to let go of my drill, um, I am twisting it off when I place it. Because sometimes that will help. Picking the drill up on the edge as well, rather than dead on top, sometimes helps. So you just twist it off. Like that. Have I got all the L's? I think I have. Although they're not L's, it's a right angle. Um, Scrapping Sylvia just says, great tutorial. Thank you, Sylvia. Um, always like getting um, feedback from other YouTubers because you guys know what you're talking about as well. So um, not that not everybody else doesn't. Oh, my God, I've just dropped myself in it now, haven't I? That's not what I meant. <laughs> what I meant was... You know, when you're this side of the camera, um, it's easier for you to understand how hard it can be to get stuff across. That's what I meant. So thank you, Sylvia. Uh, Tracy Owen. Uh, hi, Sam. Love the video as always. This was on the kitten up of the music note. Let me get my F. But this is what I mean. I'm this far through already and I'm nowhere near done these comments. Nowhere near. Oh. Um, so thank you, Tracy. Uh, Betsy McLeod, she says, I love doing the rhinestone canvases. <laughs> My internet's playing up today as well, so it's taking ages to load notifications. So that's not helping. But I had enough time to come on and do a whip while I, before I get ready to do this wax client. So I'm just going to come out of it and I'm just going to try and go back in and see if that stops. The cycling. Um, where are we? There we are. Okay, so she says, I love doing rhinestone canvases. The one you're doing is the same one I have in my bathroom and I just love looking at every day. You can use wax pens, so long crayon, and they work great. I often use my multi-placer in long, somewhat straight areas, then come back and move them with my tweezers. I've gotten quite good at it and can just zoom through a painting. Every other kind of painting, I am just a slug. Hope you enjoy your own stone. You will have plenty of spares. Oh, thank you for the advice, Betsy. Um, yeah, I haven't done much on it, just for the simple reason. It gives me a little bit of a headache, but I will go back to it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do it when I'm not filming, just because of the lights. I think it's the reflection of the lights off it, which is a good thing because it means it's sparkly. Um, I will say um, it does look nice, um, but I don't like the randomness of it. Do you know what I mean? The different sized drills. I know it's weird and there's no real explanation as to why that would bother me, but it kind of does. But I'm gonna finish it, I'm determined. Um, you know, you can only try. Um, next one is from Crochet Cow Lloyd. Um, she says, have you thought of using the gold and silver flakes in some of the large diamond shaped ones? Just a thought. Um, I have. I have done before. Um, but I will definitely be adding them on. She also said, also small trimmed bits of thread for the flat ones for needle minders for cross stitches. I'd never even thought about that. Um, about needle minders. Hadn't even thought about that, but I'm guessing it's the same, isn't it? I never really had one when I was cross-stitching. I didn't know they existed. But um, is a needle minder the same thing? Just a magnet on the back, or does it have a magnet on the front? I don't know. Uh, Diamond Art Nurse, um, kitting up, uh, um, commenting on my kitting up of the Sun, Sea, Star, Sky, Blue. You know, everything you can think of painting. Um... She says, I've gotten addicted to storage as well. I like trying different brands and types. I know, 
I can't, I don't even know what's wrong with me. Um, I'm just addicted to trying new stuff. I think it's just, I'm looking for the perfect storage. It's out there, it's got to be out there and sooner or later it will appear and it will look like a mix of Elizabeth Ward and Harbour Freight and bottle storage. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Maybe it'll be like Harbour Freight, but it'll come in a case. Do you know what I mean? But in the meantime, I'm having fun. I'm having fun trying them all out. Um, and like I said, it depends what I'm doing on what storage I need. Um, if I'd have had my um, Josephine wall when I kitted this one up, I would have probably put this one in there. Um, but I didn't. So I only had bottle storage at that point. And do you know, I like bottle storage. You've got 60 colours and you've got smallish bags of all of them. Then a 60 bottle case is more than enough. But it's when, especially when you've got the larger bottles. But when you've got, you know, six big bags, six double bags of one colour and then tiny amounts of the others, it kind of seems like a waste of space. But, um... Yeah, it is what it is. I like trying storage. I really do. I'll find it one day. I will. Um, Sarah Jane Upton, she said, I didn't realise you sold bits. I have to get a cover minder on payday. Yes, I do, Sarah. Now, I have got it in the... Um, I have got it in the title in my, in my intro. Um, and I do have it in the um, description box um, of my videos. And again, I thought I was putting the wrong ones on then. Um, but I don't mention it enough, I guess. I just don't want to be too pushy with it. So I usually mention, if I'm using a cover minder or a cook pot, I normally mention it. I need to get rid of that one. It's got a little hole in it. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't be without my cook pot now. I use one all the time because um, I do like to keep my drills contained, my trash. And um, even then, they don't go in the trash. They go, they go into the big bag that I've got. Um, most of which I actually got from Diamond Painting Claire. Um, she sent them through to me um, when I first started making the, the drill pots. Um, but yeah, I just add them into that and then it gets recycled and made into the cook pots. Um, it is not a big business. It is literally something, it's, it's just an extra hobby that I do and the money either goes back into buying moulds or resin or whatever, or it goes towards diamond painting. So yes, I do. I am on Etsy. Um... And I do have some cover minders on there at the minute. I'm, I've am i only just started making cover minders. So bear with me, more will be coming. And I shall be experimenting with materials as well. Because, um, yeah, there's a couple of things I'd quite like to try. Um, but you are more than welcome to. Um, next one is Sharon Wildball. I love the dishes and I love the blue seahorse and the whale. Thanks for showing us. Can't wait to order more. Oh, just pulled me, me lamp round. Well, aren't you a lucky girl, Sharon, because you managed to get them. So um, you should be. By the time you see this video, you'll definitely have had them by then. Um, I swear to God, you keep my business afloat. Just, just you by yourself. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just you keeping me going. So thank you. For the, for the support and for your patience because this last one was quite late going out and literally it was just because I was doing the first order as you put the second one in so I thought it was just easier to combine them but um thank you lovely and I'm glad that you like them I do I think they're cute okay that's all my s's done oh we're nearly there um next question is Jeanette Quinlig um she said sam thank you so much for your kind words and support i just got home from spending a few days in london with my family this is from um sorry this isn't jeanette this is um penny she said, i've just got back home from spending a few days in london with family i've come back with a new determination to carry on and build my channel 
I have had some amazing support from subscribers and it's given me a huge boost. Thanks for being you. You are blooming amazing. Love to all. Now, this has come up again because Jeanette commented on it and said, I discovered your channel through this video. I like it. And of course, I subscribed. Well, there you go, Penny. And thank you, Jeanette, for subscribing. Um, you know, Penny's lovely and um, her confidence has grown so much. It really has. And um, I like watching her. Um, you know, she's one of the first people that I go to watch and I've built a really good friendship up with her as well, especially now we've met. You've never heard two women talk as much as we do. Honestly, non-stop, non-stop nattering, showing each other stuff. You know, I've seen her stash, she's seen my stash. We've shared ideas, we've shared products. You know, it's it's just, I love it. I really do. So um, thank you for subscribing, Janet, Jeanette. Um, I know that Penny will be very grateful and her subscribers has jumped. It really has. So I'm pleased that I could help. Um, she also says in the start of this video, you talk about a new YouTuber called Cow Sparkles. I did not see the link in the description at first. So I searched what I thought you said. There is actually many video hits on Cow Sparkles. <laughs> I wondered about the name, but I thought she liked sparkling paintings of cows. So I did not think so much about it. I found it unsubscribed. I did reply back and I did laugh. Um, I think that's more to do with my tendency to muddle up words when I'm talking. Because what happens is my brain is going faster than my mouth can. So when my mouth tries to catch up, I garble words. So I think it's more that... I shall try and enunciate clearly from now on. Um, <laughs> I love the idea. I love the idea. Of, I'm going to Google it now. I think everyone should go and Google <laughs> video hits on cow sparkles. <laughs> it's cowbs sparkles. I don't know what cowbs stands for, actually. Penny, can you enlighten us? What, what does cowbs stand for? Is it your initials? Well, I mean, your name's Penny, so I'm guessing not. Is it the kids' initials? I don't know. But please do share. I'm interested now. Although I am off to go and Google cow sparkles. <laughs> thank you for commenting, Jeanette, and thank you for subscribing, as always. Um, Chris Naylor. Hi, Chris. This is from five days ago, so I'm, I'm catching up. I'm getting there. I'm nearly out of diamonds again, but I'm getting there. So by the time I come back off holiday, I'll only be th three weeks behind. <laughs> three weeks, three weeks after comments. So yes, like I said, I will answer on here, but I will also manually um, acknowledge your comments as well. Because I feel rude if I don't, if I just keep ignoring them. So Chris Naylor, hi Chris, um, says, Hi Sam, I'm a new subscriber and decided to watch your playlist from start to finish. Oh my God, why? Can you tell the difference between the start and the finish? I mean, I've always been myself, but I did try and behave a bit more at the beginning. <laughs> Not so much now. I don't care now. It's just like, this is me. Um, and you know what? Some people come and some people go. Actually, talking about that, I haven't seen um, Kelly. Kelly Ripper, are you out there? I'm hoping she hasn't left me, bless her, because I do like Kelly. She's my Australian friend. And um, I haven't seen her comment for ages. And she normally gives me, like, she normally gives me, like, the emojis. So I know, and I haven't seen her. So I'm hoping that she's really busy or she's been on vacation or, you know, and that she's okay. Um, but anyway, going back to Chris, sorry, Chris. She said, uh, so I can do lots of paint, diamond painting while I listen. Chris from Hornsey, East Yorkshire. P.S. Love my cook pot and fishy cover minders I received from you last week. The delivery was super fast within 24 hours from ordering. Thank you. Oh, bless you. Thank you, Chris. And thank you for ordering. Um, sometimes it is quick. Um... Sometimes when I do the fish, I actually have four moulds. So sometimes if I get an order for one, I'll make four. And then, you know, I'll put the other three up and then they sell. So they're very quick to put out. And it does depend when you order. If you order on a Friday, you're much more likely to have to wait 
for me to post it out on the Monday or Tuesday, depending on my work shift pattern. Um, but I think you probably just caught me at a good time and I got it out quick. Um, I'm pretty sure Sharon could tell you she's been waiting ages for her order because it took me ages to get it done with work and stuff. And then I kept meaning to go and post it. And then I had meetings at work. And then I had an, a job interview. I had a job interview on a Teams meeting. Not really a proper job interview, is it? But anyway, um, I just... And then she ordered again. So then I was like, well, I was literally walking out the door, getting ready to walk out the door with her parcel. And she ordered again. So it was like, well, I might as well just put them in one box now. So that's what I did. But thank you very much for commenting and for buying. Because you are supporting the channel by buying from me. Because that money goes back into my diamond painting. I couldn't afford to buy as much as I do without the additional help of my Etsy shop. That is the absolute truth. Because I can't use the money I make from nails to do it because that has to go back into that. So thank you for commenting. Thank you for lovely feedback. And I'm glad that you liked them. I do like the koi fish. They are fab. They are lovely. Um... Leandri, she says, so she says, 11 days ago, please tell me more about using tape for your multi-place and my wax keeps on coming out of my metal single and multi-place of tips. She then said, thanks for the video you, ma you made. The tape is working nicely in my single placer. I just need to practice with it a bit more in my multi-placer. So I did comment at the time to her just to say, you know, you do need to practice a little bit. And it is better to have too much to force in than to not have enough. If it's not long enough and you then go and put a second piece in, that doesn't always work. So you do need to make sure you've got enough to proper squish it in. Do your, your multi-placer first. Cut off the excess across the top and then use your excess to fill your single placer. It took me a couple of goes to get it, but I, I picked it up a lot quicker than I did glue dots. So um, I'm glad that it helped. Um, right, I'm going to place this one drill and then I'm just going to do one more comment. Actually, I'm going to do three more comments because they're all from Crochet Cow Lloyd um, and they're all on different videos. So she was obviously on a binge watch that day, which is fine. I don't mind that. God knows I put enough bloody crap up that you could, you've got enough to do that, which is why I'm not concerned about going on holiday because I've got quite a few videos there. Lots of people probably haven't gone back to the beginning. Please do go back to the beginning. <laughs> Just laugh at... I, w I won't even say that I'm more professional now because there's nothing professional about me. But, you know, I think I've probably grown into it a bit. So she says, first of all, doing Northern Lights by Hannah Lynn whilst watching and agree to do the black lines and fill in lol. Absolutely. Um, Hannah Lynn. I haven't done a Hannah Lynn. So um, it's, it's one artist I haven't done yet. Um... But certainly Mandy Manzano, um, Hannah Lynn, Jasmine Beckett Griffiths. I would always do the black lines first. It just, I don't know why. I like it. I just like filling it in. It's just like colouring. Love it. She also says, Spaniels are clever and scatty, not really stupid. Yeah, she's not stupid in... Probably stupid's the wrong word. She's not stupid as in she's dumb. She's stupid as in she's weird. Just weird. Um, she's definitely scatty. Um, but she's... Um, yeah, she's, she's so clever. She's really so clever. But there would just be certain things that she just does not get. And you sit there and laugh. Because, you know, she's standing the other side of a stair gate that she could literally just push with her nose. And she doesn't. She doesn't jump it either. So there you go. That's what I meant. Um, and then another comment on the comment about someone saying grinding or gr grind or grinding. It says, she said, I think she means grounded. I have no clue. She, no, no clue at all. Um, maybe I'm just getting old and I'm not up with today's terms. So I'm just going to pull this forward so you can have a look. Um, this is where we are, so I am definitely halfway on this one. But I know once I come back, look at that. Yes, I do still have my coat hanger on the top. Um, 
I know that once I come back, I'll be able to crack on with this and fly through it. So, yeah, not going to do a vote on the round yet. I'll do that when I come back off holiday. We'll just concentrate on the square one because the odds are... I, I know I'll have that finished by the time I come back. Most definitely. Well, depends on the weather. Depends on how busy we are. But I'm hoping to have had the majority of it done at least. So that is that for today's whip and ramble. Um, thank you for joining me as always. Please do add your comments below. I will like them and answer them on the message if i then read them on the next whip and chat i'll give you a love heart how's that sound that way you'll know whether it's been answered just there or whether it's been answered on a video thank you to all of you for continuing to come back and visit this little kitten up kitten and um, it is as always over and out from me bye bye